The city of Columbia had almost 170 water main breaks in 2023, but what happens when that break causes damage to someone's property? And in ABC 17 News Investigates report, ABC 17's Morgan Burrish is finding out that the city doesn't always have to pay for that damage and that it could be you who ends up footing the bill. Over the last four years, there have been four water main breaks along Poplar Street in northern Columbia. One in 2022 caused damage to this business, and the owners think the city needs to take responsibility. We're not looking to get over on them. We're, we're just trying to get our fair share. Steve Curry, Jay Curry, and Randy Ham own Columbia Welding and Machine on East Business Loop 70. They came back after a delivery one day and saw water coming up through the cracks in their parking lot. Pretty much pouring like a like a gusher. The water caused an estimated $40,000 in damage that the small business owners couldn't afford. They filed a claim to get paid back by the city, but got denied. Records we got from the city show the business owners were told, quote, while this was an unfortunate incident and we are sorry you may have sustained property damage, we cannot accept liability for your claim, as we find this was not an act of negligence on the city, as a utility company cannot guarantee that no part of their system will ever fail, end quote. We've been in business 100 years, and I don't feel like that we were treated well for being one of Columbia's oldest businesses. City of Columbia spokesperson Sidney Olson declined an interview, but said in an email the city will take responsibility for damage if they had prior knowledge of an issue and didn't fix it or didn't act in a timely manner. Jason Call at Collin Gentry Law Group said people can take the city to court, but it's going to be a costly battle. You have to prove they were negligent. And so that means you got to show a duty, a breach of that duty, that the breach caused your damages and that you have damages that are recoverable. To do this, he said people will not only be paying for a lawyer, but also an expert on the topic. He said this is partially why not many water main break cases are seen in court. So at the end of the day, you're going to spend a ton of money in a court battle with an uncertain outcome. Water main breaks aren't anything out of the ordinary lately. Records we got show breaks have jumped by about 100 since 2020, with just 72 breaks in 2020 and 174 reported in 2022. The owners of Columbia Welding and Machine decided against hiring a lawyer and ended up paying $5,000 to put patches on their parking lot. The city eventually offered them $5,000 to say the city wasn't responsible, but the owners wouldn't take it. It was the principle, not the not the amount. Call says it may be less expensive to make the fixes yourself than take the city to court. We've created this interactive map that shows every water main break in Columbia from 2020 to just last month. You can get online and find breaks in your neighborhood by going to our website, abc17news.com. While the city doesn't always have to pay for damages, it does have to repair the actual main when one breaks. A Columbia Utility spokesperson said the city doesn't keep track of the costs related to those repairs because that is part of the department's everyday functions.